It's a potential medical breakthrough that could rewrite what we know about organ transplants. Two new studies from NYU and the University of Alabama, Birmingham, found that genetically modified pig kidneys can provide life-sustaining kidney function in humans. In one patient, a pig kidney worked for two months. Experts say it's progress for the nearly 90,000 Americans living with end-stage kidney disease or kidney failure, which can only be treated with a transplant or dialysis. Now, we've asked our News Nation medical contributor, Dr. Dave Montgomery, to join us now. My first thought, Dr. Dave, was that human patient who received a pig heart, he died two months later. Is the only reason doctors keep going to pigs is the similar size of the organ? Yeah, well, good morning to you, Adrian. That's one of them, right? It is anatomically similar enough and we can reproduce pigs and pig organs much more readily than we can humans. I mean, think about this. As you said, 90,000 people on the transplant list. Listen, because of the wide gap between supply and demand for these kidneys, many of them will die waiting for it. Part of the reason why it's so hard to get these kidneys is the adequacy of the donor, right? We don't have, when I say adequacy, we're talking about the immune system, right? If we put an organ into a patient where the immune match is not there, the organ gets destroyed. So you can see where gene editing, trying to figure out how we can get organs in without having this rejection uh, uh, stall the process is really important. This is a breakthrough. But but like the patient with the pig heart, I mean, is this only a temporary fix? You, you know, I, I mentioned the two months time limit on this one kidney patient, but how sustainable is this? Do they know? Yeah, well, the, yeah, you know, I think that's what the, the next phase is going to tell us. Um, can we use it and for how long? I think with the heart uh, um, uh, trial that you talked about, that was big. Two months, that's a big, big deal. Um, and you can imagine as there's iter of improvement and learning that we'll get more and more out of these transplants. But that's really the, the, the deal here, trying to figure out, can we use organs from other um, animals to sustain life? I think that's the big, uh, big question. The gene editing, uh, just talk about how big a deal that is in, in terms of science. How innovative is this discovery? Yeah, we've been, uh, we've been using transgenic approaches for a really long time. I did it in my PhD studies um, where you take uh, specific changes in DNA and you insert them into the gametes, for example, of the, organ, of, of the animal and have that animal generate a different profile. So in this particular case, remember, it was all about these immune uh, factors that cause the rejection. What they've done in this particular case is knock down a bunch of those immune uh, factors and it makes the organ more tolerable to the recipient. So this is, uh, it's been a, you know, a long time coming for transgenic <laughs> animals, but not in this particular way. You know, one of our colleagues here in the building is living through the hell of waiting on that list for a kidney donation. Is this just a matter of all of us kind of recognizing whether or not we could be donors because we can all live with just one kidney? Yeah, there's a, there's a large gap in awareness. Um, there is a lot of mythology and fear around it. Um, you know, just from the living donor standpoint, because there are a couple different ways to get a kidney, um, you can only donate one kidney, right? We can fully function with one. Um, but then that, that factor of finding somebody who's willing to donate their kidney that is also compatible right. really makes it uh, hard. So there's a five-year potential five-year waiting list uh, for people for kidney transplant. And 450,000 people in the U.S. are on dialysis, just going through that hell of not having functioning kidneys. Uh, and our hearts go out to them because I know uh, people who personally have had to live with this and are waiting, like we talked about. Dr. Dave Montgomery, might be that they have a pig kidney. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll find out how the science evolves. Thanks for being here. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.